Okay, so this is a classified duke. As you can see, the packaging looks nice. Artwork looks good. Same artwork on the pet pack. So basic, basic packaging. All right, so now I'll take them out of the box. Okay, so here's Duke out of the box. And figure looks pretty good. No, uh, a few flaws that I found. Uh, like, the belts here and they'll never stay in place, so I'm gonna have to glue them in place. Same with this here. It, it would have been nice if they peg, had a peg, so I would peg in. And this I got in here tight, but it does move. And anyone who doesn't like the leg armor or has issue with it, as you can see, it is rubbery and you can remove it, but you have to have a gap in, in there from the plug holes. So that's an option for you. Got a nice orange watch. But they do put a lot of nice detailing into the figure. Head sculpt is very nice. Now the head is act neck is actually on a joint, ball joint here. And the head is on a ball joint. So there's a lot of articulation there in the head. can see his the symbol here now the only thing I don't actually like is this top part here on, on him so I'm gonna do my best to do a paint app on that but first his accessories. You can see, here's his gun, a rifle, which looks very nice, very well detailed. And you can have him holding it. Just like that. Next accessory is this little gun, a little sidearm, which is nicely done. And I can slide right in the holster. And actually, his finger can go into the gun trigger, so you, so you, you got that going on. Next is this little binocular set. Which is very nice. Wish they would have put some detail, a little bit of paint detailing. So, I might do that. And you can see how it would work in figure holder. It's got a little tab and a port going on here that goes right in there, and it's nice and secure in there. <laughs> Dog bark. Uh, 
Okay, so here's Duke all fi uh, fixed up. And right away you can see that I've painted the green, the bright green, a, a nice brown, as well, as well as the shin, piece, shin and knee pad, brown, which does actually bring out the green more of the pants. And I've taken care of the shoulder area. And had it added a toy hacks label flat right there. And I did the pack pack and left the green highlights highlights. I see it's got a canteen and pouches. Well, the yellow spots on here was from a uh, goof I had paint paint on my I've painted on my fingers and touched that. Grab mo scrape most of it off. Oh, it kind of looks uh, kind of looks adds a little detail. As you can see inside, he, this side I painted a little green. This side I did a, a green lens and a silver trim there. Add some detail. I'll put that back on there. Also, I painted the red watch. Black, so it kind of match to the up better with this side, and just gave a little silver spot for the where the watch place is. And I left this part right here normal, because so that's like a calm device. And I painted the belt gold and gave a new gold here because I ended up painting over it, which now has a better gold there. And it doesn't, you can see it doesn't quite match, but it matches up a lot better. Now, here he is with my custom Cobra Commander. Here he is with my custom up Scarlet. Uh, with Duke. I mean, gun with gun hole. Snake eyes. Storm Shadow, Roadblock, Heavy Duty. Uh, that's the current Joe Team lineup, and they all do look good together. And now here he is with the custom buddy. Put the stand up there. Yeah, from the other side. That's Destro. Uh, Cobra Commander. Uh, Red Ninja. Storm Shadow.
Air fly. Let's move him over a bit. And then put Baron there. And here's Baron there. So that's how those they look together. And that's how he holds the uh, uh, binoculars. Or the night vision goggles. Or, or night vision binoculars. Whichever they are. And that's about it. Thanks for watching.